Hey guys! I thought now would be the perfect time to formally start my moving vlogs. I am not sure the number of days I have left. I think I have six days left. Yeah, six full days until I have to be out of my apartment. I'm starting to get a little bit stressed. My apartment's been a moving wreck for months and I've known that I'm moving out of here for months so I've started getting rid of things and like selling things off pretty early but today and yesterday like last night I just sort of went into a panic because I was like I have a ton of stuff and I thought that I did not have very many personal belongings um, I'm always like getting messages like why do you like get rid of things on Depop? Why do you sell so much stuff on Depop? Part of the things that I sell on Depop are my belongings and occasionally I embark on little projects when I'm traveling and can go thrifting and then I resell things. A lot of people on Depop do that. It's kind of just a fun little hobby. You don't make too much profit off of it unless you're doing it full time and it's sort of just a hobby that I enjoy um, and if I find something shopping that I can't wear or I don't want to wear but I know somebody else will like it I'll usually pick it up and then resell it on there if it of course fits my style or if there's something that I find at a thrift store that I'm like oh I do like this and I would like to wear it like once or twice and then I'll probably be over it and I can sell it on Depop um, and that's just kind of how it is I pretty much only do it with thrifting that's kind of a tangent, but yes, moving out, stressful. I'm filming on my real camera just to kind of make the moving vlogs a bit better quality. I've sort of been in a dilemma of if I should get a nice vlogging camera that can also be used for photos and that is a bit more lightweight than what I'm using right now, which is my T4i. And I just haven't fully decided yet. I love being able to film on my phone and the phone quality is really really nice as long as the lighting is okay, which the lighting is not okay in my apartment unless I get my ring light out and then that's just such a mess if you're trying to vlog. So yeah, I haven't decided yet, but I am just going to be filming moving vlogs on this camera. Today I sold off a chair on Craigslist. I listed some different furniture on Craigslist last night. And I got emails about everything within like an hour <laughs> um, and I've never actually sold anything on there before. I think I've purchased a concert ticket once but I sold off a chair this morning. I have someone coming to pick up this table on Friday and then someone coming to pick up my nightstand sort of freestanding shelving system on Saturday. And then I have a girl who worked for us, for my company, Staatsballet, for a little bit of time. And she is moving to the city around the same time that I'm moving out. So she offered to take my mattress off of me, this big mirror, these stools that I'm sitting on, and some other things too. Um, so that worked out really well. I'm actually going to get a little bit of money for all of my stuff when originally I was just planning on donating it and being kind of lazy. But selling has sort of worked out. Definitely list your stuff on Craigslist. <laughs> and if you're not caught up and you're wondering why I am choosing to sell all my furniture rather than moving it to a new apartment or rather than putting it in storage, it's because I am planning to do an extended period of travel with my boyfriend and business partner Avery. And I am not 100% positive that I will be returning to New York City not even 50% positive that I'll be returning to New York City, so I don't want to waste money on storage. I don't have any physical attachment to my furniture. I'd rather go to a home that wants it. Avery also has furniture and other things, and will probably want to refurnish a more permanent space if we ever have a super permanent space anytime soon. But I've also had a lot of questions like, where are you moving? Where are you traveling to? To be 100% honest, we have absolutely nothing booked yet. <laughs> um, I do have a pretty large wish list of places that I want to go to, but I'm super excited to be really spontaneous. With that being said, I really need to limit my belongings. <laughs> I've sort of been tackling my closet. It's still a total mess in there. <laughs> um, and I realize like under my bed is a mess. 
I need to go through, I think, my drawers this evening. I've also been trying to, like, eat all the food that's in my kitchen and just use up as many products as I can so I have less to lug around. But I think I am going to be listing some things on Depop tonight. I've been doing a lot of shipping for the past few days and I still have a lot to do, actually, um, because my brand had an online release for our book and we also had a little sample sale and um, restocked some pieces from our first collection following our pop-up store in New York City but I'll show you the book really fast. This is actually one I think that has a fabric flaw that's why I have it in this pile. Yeah it does. Before I show it to you I guess I'll tell you if anyone is interested in purchasing one of these and they want to get a bit of a discount on it we do have some that just have like the smallest flaws but we obviously like don't want to send it to someone that paid full price so if you don't mind and you want to get 40 to 50 percent off feel free to email us i'll have it in the description down below since i have this so overexposed it's not really showing the true color but it's a chocolate brown fabric photo book sort of like a textbook as we call it and this just sort of details our entire like first collection experience mainly in photos um, but we have everything from like our official images um, and editorial shoots to like legal agreements and trademarks and um, just a ton of fun like behind the scenes sort of things like inspiration. It was great when we were making this to just be able to like look back on the whole process and reflect and see sort of like where our mistakes were made and just what we want to do better and also I don't know have like a physical tangible archive of everything we've done in a sort of way. I believe there are 152 matte pages mainly film photos in here but there's just a large variety. <laughs> even have like screen caps of funny emails. I'll stop rambling about this now, but I've been shipping a bunch of these and some of our clothes. I still have to ship the rest of those. That's pretty much all we have left though, which is just like kind of sad, but also great because we can't wait to have new things. I really thought that it was going to make moving a bit easier having like our brand's warehouse moved into my apartment and out of our fulfillment center because that sort of forced me to go ahead and get rid of everything that I already knew that I was going to need to get rid of in some way prior to my move, but there's just more stuff to move and more things to figure out, but no complaints really. <laughs> um, I'm really excited to be able to share with you guys kind of the whole journey and what I end up deciding to keep and why I want to keep it. I'll probably put stuff like that on my main channel though um, and briefly talk about it on here. At least like fashion stuff and beauty product related things I'll probably put on my main channel but everything else goes on here. This is my favorite channel by far. Well I've been rambling for 11 minutes so this is probably going to be a super long first installment of these. I think I'm going to try to do them daily. Leading up to moving, Avery is coming here in a couple days and he's going to be able to help me move out. He's finishing up school and then he has like a week about before graduation. So we are just on the same flight back to his graduation. And I don't know, I kind of want to get a lot of things done before he comes though because I want to be able to enjoy my last few days in New York where I actually have a place to stay because I don't know what the future holds, you know? <sighs> yeah. And I feel like I still can't fully tell, but this looks good enough. Although, unfocused cameras are like the biggest <laughs> annoyance ever. Oh, you guys, look at all these boxes back here. They're at the end of my bed. Ugh. It's fine, though. I'm just, like, overwhelmed to the point where I don't know where I should even begin. Um, but I guess we do just have to begin in small chunks. Tomorrow I need to call everyone that I pay bills to and cancel. See what the deal is going to be with my security deposit. 
And if they can direct deposit it into a bank since I'm not going to be around. And just a lot of boring tasks like that. But I really would like to get started on the clean out. Maybe I should just like pull a trash bag in here. I'm thinking that I'm not going to keep a lot of the stuff that's in these drawers because I rarely visit these drawers. Shorts with tags still on them. From Redone, I need to keep those because it's my only pair of shorts. Ooh. I bought these on sale at other stories. It's like a slim pant. And they're just really uncomfortable. But, ugh. Maybe I should sell these. They're nice pants. I think that they're just a tiny bit too small for me. I wore them like once. These I wear all the time. I need to keep them. My own sweatpants that I made. Love these. They're getting so ratty at the bottom because we made them where they drag on the ground. Or you can totally get them hemmed. They'll keep the same shape. And I'm loving it. My go-to jeans, all of my denim favorites are from Shop Redone, and it's a sustainable company too. I ordered myself two packs of black cotton underwear from Amazon just to have like unopened <laughs> for when I'm traveling, and they're just the Amazon basics underwear they're pretty inexpensive and i'm just like on this thing where i won't wear any underwear that aren't cotton maybe tmi but it's so much more comfortable i'm always like hesitant to get rid of t-shirts because i don't know this one needs washed it's disgusting actually but it's so soft i have to use it to dye my hair i like need t-shirts that i can dye my hair in but i really need to pick like a specific one instead of always switching it up like what even is most of this stuff i don't know i originally bought this to resell on depop because i can always um resell slip dresses really fast <laughs> um but i've been wearing it and i really like it kind of really like it is that it's much better than i expected it to be on my own body like, oh my god i forget about so much of this stuff that's where this is I hate drawers. Donate! I've literally donated two things so far. This is not going well. So I just went to make a listing for some of my dance leotards and dance stuff on Depop because I'm sure that it could go to a better home and everything's still in really good condition. But I couldn't do it. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. Ugh. I like definitely don't need all of these. I have like four leotards that I'm having trouble giving up and like a couple pairs of shorts. <sighs> Why can't I do it? I like never go to class anymore. <sighs> I really need to give up at least half of them though. All I did was go through my drawers and then I FaceTimed Avery. skincare I should have filmed it but I ended up continuing to go through my closet I've went through all my clothes but I do still have a fair share to do but I think today was a really good start so I don't know if this is ending off the vlog or if it's about to start a new day but I thought I would actually say goodnight